Hi everybody, it's Nazar from Nazar's Fine Crafts and today we're going to do my July works in progress and finish objects video. If you like these kind of videos then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. So today is Friday the 31st. You have till midnight tonight to enter into both my July giveaway and my um, 750 subscriber giveaway. I'll put those up top and link them in the description below. So make sure you check out those and go ahead and get entered in to win some free yarn. So today a multitude of different things. We'll go ahead and go over what I've done that either I've freehanded or I've designed myself. So um, you all should know about my sunflower rug. If not, I'm going to link a video up here so you can watch that if you want to see the sunflower rug. But this is, I decided to do a half sunflower rug, one that would go under your kitchen sink, uh, an entryway, things like that. This one actually is under my kitchen sink because I don't have any crochet things in my own house. I don't keep them. People, I make them and people want them so I usually end up selling them or giving them away. So I made this one and this one is actually under my kitchen sink and it's working out quite nicely. But I'm working on the pattern for that. Um, I'm in the final testing stages. So uh, that pattern should be in my Etsy shop soon. The link is in the description below as well. I also got some yarn a little bit back that was uh, very colorful and I decided to do a drawstring backpack out of it so this was just kind of free handed to do a backpack so it's kind of it's big enough to hold yarn or stuff um, I'm not sure <laughs> Can you hear my son? He's yelling at my other son trying to get something done. Ah. <laughs> chaos, chaos. No, they're not bad. But I don't really care for the straps. I don't like them just a single chain, so maybe I'll work on that next time. Uh, this is There's no pattern for this. This is just something I worked on. I really like how this yarn worked up. It's a wool acrylic blend, but it doesn't have a whole lot of stretch which for a backpack you don't want to do because you don't want things falling out if there's holes in it. <laughs> so that's one thing I've worked on. Um, Miss the Yarn Hag Ryan. Here is the Hag Shaw that I've been testing out for her. A lot of people are testing this out for her. I love the way that these colors worked up. This is that cactus flower from the Michaels haul that I did. So I did make kind of a mistake instead of I reduced the stitches on um, the increase that she wanted and it didn't um, flow out as much as I would have wanted it to. But it's nice. I, I agree. I love the squishiness of this. So there's that. So very nice, very nice pattern. So hopefully um, we can all get that tested out for her and get it written up so that anybody that hasn't um, become a tester for it can definitely buy the pattern from her. That would be pretty cool. I next thing that I've been working on so I got some tape yarn a long time ago and I haven't used it it's a hooked brand or I hadn't used it and so finally I wanted to do something with it so I made a bicycle basket it has buttons on the back this is from off the hook for you is who made it designed it and uh, I really like the the design. I did spread the uh, the handles out a little bit further than what she suggested, but it works perfectly on a stroller, a bicycle. So you could even put this on a crib if you wanted to. It would hold a lot of you know diapers or wipes, things like that, uh, just around the house. But I really liked how it turned out. It's sturdy, so. Um, 
yeah <laughs> I like that I did put these in my Etsy shop as well so if you want to check that out and then um, of course I'm gonna link the pattern that I used in the description below and last but not least you guys remember this little guy from uh, my first uh, craft booth thing so uh, this is from MJ off the hook designs okay so worked on the little turtle guy he um, it's a little bit altered from NJ off the hooks pattern I will link it in the description below but I my mom gave me a whole bunch of burnout blanket extra yarn and I was like I don't know what I'm gonna do with this stuff so you guys I made this big old dude and I want to find some green even if it's just plain burnett blanket to make the hood and the arms and everything but oh my goodness this thing is so soft you could almost use it as a rug but <laughs> I want to use it as blanket so there's that guy and then oops sorry about the bag Here he is, or she, I guess you call her she. So there's this one. So this one is a custom order for someone. Same pattern, everything, it's adult size. But watch this, you guys, you gotta see this. So you put it on, it's not that deep of a hood, but it's, you put it on, and then you can put your arms inside the little turtle arms so you're like a little sea turtle <laughs> so it's funny funny but it's cute I like it it's playful it fits my my silliness so so but yep she wanted it uh, mostly teals so there you go and I love it I love it it's a fun pattern to work with so definitely if you like sea turtles, check her MJ off the hooks pattern in the description below. That was, that thing's heavy too. You hear me out of breath? Because it's heavy. So, <laughs> but other than that, uh, I'm working on the pattern. I'm still working on the Llama Love pillow pattern and the rug. It just, um, if you watch the, uh, the part two of the craft show booth my computer crashed and I've lost a few things I haven't lost other things and it just technical difficulties everywhere but that's why you print things out <laughs> I've got everything printed out and in, in the filing cabinet over here that you can see so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I will have probably a stitch tutorial on Monday coming out because I haven't done one in a little while and then um, I got part t three you see a little sneak peek back here of what we're gonna be showing for part three of what I take to my craft booth as a craft as a crochet artist and we'll see you later bye